Welcome back to my channel, everyone. I'm so glad that you're with me today. And we are going to be going over some really effective skincare, but skincare that is not gonna break your budget. And I love that about it because it acts like luxury skincare, but it's not at a luxury price tag. So I'm excited to share all these with you that I have. I have quite a few things to share with you today that I feel like have made a really big difference in my skin. And I love them. I've repurchased them. Um, and even a couple of these jars are empty because I have them in route. I've just barely ordered for myself. So if you're new to my channel, a special welcome to you. And I would love to have you here as a part of our YouTube family. Thank you so much for tuning in today, everyone. If you wouldn't mind hitting the like button, that would really help my video out a lot. So let's get into luxury skincare that doesn't break the budget right now. So you might have heard about these before in my channel. Maybe not. I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to repeat them. Let's start with cleansers. And I I have three that I want to talk about. The first one is from Pixie Beauty. This one was sent to me not very long ago, but this is the Retinol and Jasmine Cleanser. And not only do I feel like this is a fantastic cleanser as far as taking your makeup off, but I also feel it's a great cleanser for that second cleanse too, if you want to use it that way, because I feel like it really doesn't strip the natural oils off of the skin. It's quite hydrating, quite moisturizing. I feel like you get a fairly good tube for the money, and I have really been enjoying this one a lot. It's one of those cleansers that I reach for over and over again, and Pixie Beauty has sent me a lot of different cleansers, but this is the one that I'm enjoying the most right now. And then also from Good Molecules, I kind of got introduced to Good Molecules probably about nine months or so ago and fell in love with their cleansing balm. If you like the Clinique Take the Day Off, this is almost identical to that. It has that same very balmy property. You warm it up in your fingers like this and this does not contain any coconut oil. And it's a good, really good size jar too. This will take off any makeup you have, waterproof, regular makeup, whatever, and then you need to go in with a second cleanse because this is very thick and you know obviously it's a balm it doesn't it's not liquidy at all but it really does the job and it does the job well my third one that i want to talk to you about and i don't know why i'm so into cleansers this video i normally don't hardly ever worry about cleansers but this one is from open formula and this one is their glycolic cleanser with 10 percent glycolic acid glycolic acid is such a good acid for aging skin it's one of those bha acids aha acid sorry and um it's just a really good acid for taking care of refining your pores, sloughing off any dead skin or anything like that. But as you slough off that dead skin and as you clear out the pores, it just really shows brighter skin through. And that's one of the things that I have a challenge with is keeping my skin bright and lively and making sure that as I age, it is a lot brighter because you can lose a lot of the luster in your skin as you age. So I really do enjoy that one. While we're on the subject of um, glycolic acid, let's just talk about a couple of the things that I do have that I highly recommend that have been so impressive to me with glycolic acid in them and that is the Alpha Skin Care Renewal Body Lotion with 12% glycolic acid. Again, glycolic acid is so good for aging because not only does it help to slough off, but what but I love about this one is how very hydrating it is, how that I can put it on in the morning and know that I still have it on all my crepey skin, the crepey skin that I get on my arms, on my thighs, everything like that. Since I've lost a lot of weight, my skin looks kind of like a deflated balloon but when I put this on, it looks less so yucky, I guess, if you want to say it. It just really is one that I've really enjoyed, and this is an all-over body lotion. It's not for your face, but make sure that when you use this, if you do have hot flashes or if you tend to be hot in the night that you don't wear this, if you're a cold person, it's going to help you, and I'll tell you how. You will put this on, and it will create a barrier with your skin and everything outside, so it actually can get me really warm if I put it on before bed. Learned my lesson that way, so I don't do that because I do get night sweats or you get hot flashes at night and I wake up drenched. So if I use this in the daytime, it's much better than using it at night and getting really hot with it. Now my last glycolic acid product is from The Ordinary and this is empty. This is the glycolic acid 7% toning, toning solution and I absolutely adore this toning solution, you guys. If you haven't tried this and you haven't been able to use any AHA or BHA products because your skin is really sensitive, you might try this toning solution. Start off with it, you know, maybe twice a week in the 
then work your way up. I use this on um, days or nights when I'm not using any vitamin C or any Retin-A at all because it can kind of interfere with those. But it's really great to use like the morning after you use your Retin-A because it's going to help slough off the skin quicker and show that bright, pretty skin pretty skin through that the collagen is making or that the retin-a is making through building your collagen so i love this i love glycolic acid now next i want to talk to you about something that i have talked about a lot on my channel this is my third or my fourth bottle and this is the niacinamide from good molecules the niacinamide brightening toner this contains niacinamide vitamin c licorice root and alpha arbutin and all of those you guys are extremely brightening products arbutin is brightening licorice root is is brightening of course vitamin c is and they're all antioxidants but niacinamide being the star here because what happens with niacinamide it's on a really good ph level so it's not going to react with anything that you put with it niacinamide will actually boost any of your antioxidants that you're using already so if you're using vitamin c or, or if you're using galactomyces like what i'm going to talk about in the next product then it will boost the effectiveness of those and the and other beautiful thing about niacinamide and i absolutely this is what i noticed more than anything is it will be pore refining now pore refining does not mean that anything is going to shrink your pores whatever pores you have that's what you're stuck with but if you can clean those pores out they can start to look extremely reduced and that's where niacinamide comes in it gently goes in and it takes out any of the dead skin cells or dirt the sebum that's in there all of that junky cruddy stuff that can be built up into our pores can cause blackheads or breakouts this will clean out those and i have found that this is such a good one as far as showing the results so i swear by this one this is probably the number one in here of all the things that i've been talking about there's two actually but so definitely in love with that one and, and then the second one is from secret key and this is the starting treatment essence with galact galactomyces i barely can say that okay so but i'm gonna get my glasses on we're gonna talk a little bit from the website exactly how they found out that this was such a fantastic product for anti-aging and it says what is galactomyces it says by finding the hands of artisan making yeast at brewery were practically bright and elastic for his age Age, galactomyces was discovered as the best yeast for skin among numerous yeasts so basically what that's telling you is they were at the brewery they were all you know experimenting with different yeasts and different fermentation processes and this one particular one they found that their hands were looking so young and so they actually decided to see if this was the case if this was that good on faces too sure enough it was so here are the seven effective benefits of galactomyces it says ring improvement elasticity whitening skin soothing skin refinement sebum control and moisturization what more could you ask for if you're looking at something for anti-aging and i really have noticed all of those benefits from this and it just goes along so good with the niacinamide toner i use both of these every single time that i'm doing my skincare in the morning or at night this one's empty too it's on the way to me but basically if you've ever heard of sk2 or sk skii whichever one that is that they sell at sephora this is a dupe for it and it is such a good dupe because it's the same exact ingredients it has the same exact treatments in here and you're going to get the same exact benefits. And really, you guys, I have noticed how soothing it is. If my skin is really on fire from my Retin-A, if I use this, it doesn't get, cause any more irritation at all in that. And it also, I really do feel like it's the softening and the brightening. So I love this product. I won't be without that one either. Then I kind of am exploring the Inculus right now. And I've talked to you guys a little bit about the polyglutamic acids and this one is is the one that is supposed to be four times as effective as hyaluronic acid and we all know that hyaluronic acid draws a thousand times its weight in water this one is four times that so it's four thousand times its weight in water that is saying a lot and you guys the key to looking younger is to having plumped up skin i mean i have really crepey skin on my chin i have huge lines in my forehead across my lips under my eyes but using a product like this that is super hydrating super plumping of the skin can really make us look younger so i will go in with a spray bottle then put this on and then use my moisturizer over top of it and you guys 
Honestly, this has been fantastic because such a tiny bit of it goes a long ways and there is absolutely no drying out with this like there has been with certain hyaluronic acids for me in the past. And I love that you don't have to have as much as you do of the hyaluronic acid in order to see huge benefits and huge payoffs as far as moisturization and the plumping of the skin. So I just think it's great. And then for peptides, I'm using Cos de Baja's PTMA Peptide Facial Toner. This has Matrix 3000 and are zeroline in it and both of those have been known to be highly effective on the aging signs of aging and especially wrinkles fine lines loss of skin tone so our zeroline has been touted as botox in a bottle it is one of those key ingredients that can help relax those dynamic folds and those dynamic lines that you have and then also along with that the matrix l3000 it has been known to reduce wrinkles a lot so i think that this is a great essence all of these are kind of along the essence toner so far i haven't really showed you anything very thick so except for that one lotion of course that's a thick one but I love having light layers on my skin as I age because I feel like it helps with the way that my makeup lays on my skin too. It won't look too heavy because I don't have all these thick caking layers up. So really enjoy having the essences or the toners instead of the heavy creams or anything like that. Now to talk about one that I actually heard off of my good friend Monica um, from Monica's Beauty and Lifestyle. And I will make sure that I link her channel below, but she actually turned me onto this. This is a product that you order out of the UK off of Amazon. And it works out to be per tube about 20, $20 and change in US dollars. So this is the Pro Retinol Eye Treatment. It is just a little bit higher than anything that they carry in the States. I don't know why Olay doesn't have this over here, but they don't. And I have noticed a really softening of these dynamic wrinkles that I have, or these huge laugh lines that I have right here around my eyes so far. And I've been using this for quite some time now, six weeks plus, um, probably a little bit longer than that. But yeah, Monica is the one that kind of turned me onto this and I've been really enjoying you it. You have to go to Amazon UK. I will make sure I link that below. But, but this has been really great for me for helping those wrinkles. And I put it on right before I put on my very favorite eye cream of all time, which is the Suko Yakasuhara urea eye cream this is highly moisturizing you guys if you have dry under eyes you have to try this i know that i've talked about it a million times and you guys are probably rolling your eyes but you when you get this tube of, of cream you're going to notice such a huge difference in how moisturized your under eyes are and how plumped up they look and how nice it is and urea the urea in here and i will say this because i do say this every time i talk about urea yes urea is a byproduct of urine but it's not in here this this is the urea that is created in a lab to mimic that but it has high high moisturizing properties and the other beautiful thing about a urea product is normally you can't put anything up underneath your eyes that has any sort of exfoliating in it this does and it, you can put it up underneath there and it does a very gentle exfoliation so we want that skin to turn over but we want it to do it in such a gentle way that we're able to create a beautiful look under our eyes with no irritation and that's what this does and i just absolutely love it you guys and all these products are going to be linked below i want to make sure that you know about all of now, them now skin aqua has this spf of 50 plus 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 and i think this is a great moisturizing spf and i have used the one in the little blue bottle this one is supposedly the upgraded one it looks acts just the same as that one got you get a little bit more in here for a little bit better price and that's why i like it but this sinks into the skin so pretty and so nice and i love that about it and i wanted to make sure that i talked to you about it because the the spfs that i have talked about very recently it seems like they've raised their prices a lot but this is the same company more in here so i know that especially in the summer this is working really good for me because it does seem to be a little lighter than the one that comes in the blue tube it seems to sink in just a little bit faster so definitely love having that as well that is it for fantastic luxury skincare that doesn't have a luxury price tag attached to it. Hope that you guys did enjoy this video. Thank you so much for tuning in with me today. Let me know in the comment section if you've tried any of these at all or if there are products out there that you guys are enjoying that really have made a really huge difference in your skin. And I don't care whether they're inexpensive or whether they're really expensive. I love to know those things so that I can try them out as well and test them out for all of you guys too. So hopefully everybody is having a great day. 
Please stay safe. Please take care of yourselves. Stay sanitized. Stay hydrated. And I will see you all in my very next video. Love you. Bye, guys.